Okay, hi. Am I back? I don't understand why, just sometimes OBS just goes like... And then... And then I, I just suffer for it. Okay, th thank you. Thank you, welcome back, everyone. I'm so sorry that OBS just keeps crashing on me. I need to... I, I looked up why it could be... And I, you know, people were like, oh, update your graphics driver. And it's like, well, it's already up to date. So, okay, I apologize. Give me just a moment. Okay. Is it going to, yes. Okay, it, it is capturing. Yeah, 31 degrees, 57% humidity. Oh, I am so sorry, Ashy. <laughs> Pixel! Ah! Uh, the precious shadow, you woo. No, you. And also, thank you for the sub. I really appreciate it. I don't know if I've, uh. If I've mentioned this. Uh, so I got a lavalier mic recently because, uh. You know, every. Every sub and bit and stuff, it, it goes back to making the stream better and. And my content better in general. And I. Uh, had an idea that needed a lavalier mic. And, uh, I might need to return it since it's not the, the kind of quality I expected, but we'll see. Yes, this is the PC version. The aircon does not exist here. Oh, no. Hopefully it's- hopefully you found somewhere decently cool to hang out. Okay, I talked to someone from the south yesterday, they had like 100 plus 80, 95. Oh, goodness. Can I join you? Yeah, you know? Well, uh... Hmm... Aircon is proof God loves us and wants us to be happy. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, actually, Pixel, the, the reason I'm gonna say no is because today's gonna be a bit of a shorter stream. Well, it's, it, I'm sorry, Pixel, it's, it's not you, it's just like, today's gonna be a shorter stream, and, uh... Um... I, I don't know. Multiplayer always makes me... I don't know what the word is. Feel restricted. It's just wasteful in many ways. <laughs> I mean, maybe it is, but also... But also it is super nice to have. Don't worry about it, there'll be other days. Yeah, exactly. There, there are plans for... For fun things. And also, I might need help, because I don't know... I don't know a whole lot about this game, so... Like, despite pouring hundreds of hours in, I still feel like a noob. Can't, parts 2? Yeah! You're making me really want to get the PC version. Although... Good lord, there are so many games I want to get. Like, I, I want to get Mario Strikers. I heard the the new TMNT game was actually really good. Um, I heard, uh... Or, you know, I still want to get the Atelier game that came out recently, and, uh... And Xenoblade 3 is coming out recent, uh, you know, soon. There are fun things, particularly next month. Yes, possibly. Hi, Unsmiley, it's good to see you! Welcome! And also, again, I'm sorry for no face cam, I just... You know, I just wanted to be in my room in the dark. So sue me. <laughs> I went to watch you play Sonic Unleashed yesterday, but I had taken a nap. Oh, no worries. Naps are great. So, I understand. Honestly, you might have been really frustrated by my Unleashed stream. <laughs> hey! You smell, but you're a pretty good streamer. Thank you. And I don't smell, I'll have you know. I smell like roses. Um... Hot take on PC gaming. Okay. Easy. Um... 
I think PC gaming is my least favorite way to play video games. It will aside from aside from streaming services. But like before streaming ex services existed, I always considered PC gaming to be like the least enjoyable way to experience games. Not because of like frame rates or stuff, because like obviously in a technical sense, PC games have higher frame rates and stuff if you have the uh, if you have the uh, hardware. So I'm sorry because it's hot. Yeah, I haven't I haven't been outside, so that that could be a factor. But yeah, I, my thing get well. I don't want to say against PC gaming, but like my thing about PC gaming is um like to get the the kind of high frame rates that you know PC gamers always talk about. It's like you gotta spend a lot of money, and then it'll get outdated quickly, and and uh, and at least from a personal uh, standpoint, I. I remember I bought uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on Steam, and I was really excited to play it, and I could not for the life of me get it to work. It refused to boot, and uh, it was like, it, I would go through the splash screens and then it would just crash, and I looked into it and there were so many different solutions and all of them failed. I tried every single solution, none of them worked. And I was like, this is so infuriating, why can't it just be a thing where it's like, you click the button and play the game. Tilakilla, I notice you. You have been noticed. And I'm glad your plants are super happy. Nintendo shall confirm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm just saying it's frustrating for me when... When it's like, oh, well, to get the best experience, you need to, like... You know, you need to put up with all this. It's part of the fun, though. For some people, yes, for me. Like, I enjoy... Um, hmm, how do I put this? Um, he's a Nintendo show and that's okay, we love and accept it anyway, jeez. <laughs> Pile on the streamer, why don't you? No, but um, I mean, for me, like, gaming, gaming's an entertainment form, right? So, for me, having to, like, having to essentially, you know, do a bunch of, like, uh, what do you call it? Technical work to make it even function is just frustrating for me. You know? Like, I, I, you know, I notice graphics and things. Like, playing Risk of Rain 2 on PC is certainly a lot better than playing it on Switch. But, like, I've never been that, uh, that particularly harsh when it comes to that. So, like... I still play on Switch a lot more than I play on PC, if only because, you know, it's just more convenient. Do you have a favorite console? Well, right now it's the Switch. <laughs> um, without nostalgia, I should say it's the Switch. Um, yeah, I heard KOTOR had problems on PC. I don't know. Yeah, oh, yeah. KOTOR 1, like, was, like, unfixable. At least from my perspective. Um, honestly, I see your point. Kingdom Hearts is a perfect example. If not for the mod, this wouldn't be... Yeah, and I mean, like, mods are a great thing about PC games. It's not that PC games don't have their their upsides. It's just for me and what I value in gaming isn't, isn't the same thing as what a lot of PC gamers value. So, it's, it's one of those... It's just one of those things. Um, why does it seem like I always forever pile on the streamer posts? Yeah, I wonder if there's a correlation. <laughs> um, can't remember the last time I had a problem booting a game, maybe like 10 years ago. For me, it's pretty constant. And, I mean, that's kind of the nature of PC gaming, is, like, there are so many more hardware variables you need to take into account. Like, when you're, when you're, you know, programming for a console, right, it's like, I'm, everyone has either a Switch or a Switch Lite or a Switch OLED. Like, it's not like, oh, well, what if they have a 3060 from EVGA as opposed to, you know, whatever. 
you know, as opposed to MSI or whatever. Are incompatible. <laughs> A. I like that. But yeah. Like, you know, I grew up Sega Genesis. Like, you, you put the cartridge in, you, you push the on button, you go through the Sega, and then you're in-game. Like, you know... Like, obviously gaming isn't like that nowadays for any console, or, or I mean any place in general. But, you know... It, like, I'm not so picky about, you know, frame rates and stuff that I won't play a game on, like, Switch just because it has a lower frame rate, you know? Genesis for the win. I do love the Genesis, though. Admittedly, I've found that I'm... Uh, its library isn't as, uh, isn't as, uh, what's the word, enjoyable for me as I remember. Like, like, I love the original Sonic games, and I love, um, uh, you know, like, Toe Jam and Earl and stuff, but, like, a lot of the other, uh, Genesis games I'm really not that in tune with. You know, Comic Zone and, and Rystar and stuff, they don't really scratch that itch for me. But I love the Dreamcast. Oh no, it's it's not an unpopular opinion. People love the Dreamcast. Well, consoles there are at most two variants. It is for yeah. See, that's that's the thing. For some, it's a blessing, and for some, it's a curse. Like it's a hot take because I feel like more people consider it a blessing than a curse. But for me personally, I consider it more of a curse, just because the way I learned to play games and the way I learned to experience them is different. I forgot Toe Jam and Earl. I know, I adore Toe Jam and Earl. But like, when I was thinking on it, I used to be a Sega kid, but I was only really ever a Sega kid because of Sonic and Toe Jam and Earl. Like, none of the other Sega exclusives really grabbed me. So, when I was thinking about it, I, I technically have always been more of a Nintendo person than a Sega, you know, kid. much else. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's obviously a part of it, too, is, like, it's not like I could buy every every console game. Like, my parents would occasionally take us to Funko Land, and then, and then like, maybe we'd get a game. Shit. <laughs> that was dumb. I should have hid. It might be more than those who feel that way aren't the majority as much as they are very vocal. That's also possible. I mean, it's hard to say. Okay, I'm doing that again. <laughs> oh, I appreciate you too, Tilakilla. Thank you. PC Master Race. I know. See, that's 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 the thing. I I mean, PC to me is basically like any other platform where it's like it has its ups and downs. But um, I don't know. My my personal experience with with gaming on PC has been such a, a a mixed bag. You know, like, there are some games that run well enough on lower hardware, and there are other games where it's like, if you don't have the top-of-the-line hardware, you are... you are basically just playing the console version. <laughs> or worse. Oh, yeah, no, I do love it all. I, do, I don't mean to sound like I... Oh, I'm playing on a PC right now. I have like over 2000 steam games it's not like it's not like i'm sitting here going like i'll never play pc again like like i'm a karen or something like i'm just i'm just saying like if it was a choice between playing a game on switch at 30 and playing a game on pc at 60 i'd probably choose the switch because i prefer to play handheld versus you know sitting at my pc with all of the all of the things and that's, you know, that's, that's me. That's just how I enjoy things. Just people in general. Yeah, um, I sent out a tweet. I don't know if you have heard of the Doll E AI, where, like, you give it a prompt and then it'll, it'll generate an image based off of that prompt. It's been making the rounds because it's actually kind of scary accurate. Um, but, uh... It, because it's gotten popular, there's a lot of traffic, and sometimes it bugs out. And so I had, I had it 
do a prompt where it's like gamers get along with everyone and then it crashed and then I was like oh not even an AI, an AI can imagine it <laughs> if you see if you love indies yeah that's definitely another thing about PC gaming is like indies are so vast because I mean PC as a concept is just open like you know so like there's a lot of potential, but also a lot of random stuff. Rebecca, oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I was very happy with that tweet. It didn't get the kind of love that my Persona tweet did, but I was happy with it. Oh, synthetic. Okay, so for those of you who are new to my stream, I have a soundboard full of inside jokes, and I'm going to play one at random with no context when you redeem that redemption. So, let's do... Let's do something... I did it! Oh, that's great! Genius. Um... Let's do an older one, let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's do Will's favorite. Are you crazy? No, I'm crazy. No, I'm crazy. <laughs> Are you crazy? No, I'm crazy. <laughs> Are you crazy? No, I'm crazy. Are you crazy? No, I'm crazy. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming that, Will. I appreciate it. Um, I heard of the AI, but I haven't tried it yet. Oh, yeah, I've tried it. It's really fun. If I was a kid and had it, I would I, I would have sunk hundreds of hours into it. Yeah, genuinely synthetic. Sorry. I should use the username. It claps like a seal. <laughs> Are you crazy? No, I'm crazy. <clears throat> It's a D-A-L-L-E mini. Honestly, it should come up in search results pretty quick because it's gotten super popular. Hang until... Uh... <laughs> oh my god, another soundboard. Okay, let's see. Let's see what... Oh, wh whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Wrong button. Uh, let's see what else we can play. It's been forever. Um... Tire smoke. Breathe this. <laughs> 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 <laughs> oh, it makes me so happy. Tire smoke. Read this. <laughs> oh, it doesn't get old. Still healthier than cigarette smoke. Honestly, honestly, you're probably right. That tire smoke is healthier than cigarette smoke. <laughs> tire smoke. Breathe this. <laughs> Way too much traffic, please try again. Yeah, I know, because because it's gotten so popular, like, they got overwhelmed with, with requests. But if you try it a few times, it'll eventually... It'll eventually work out. <laughs> Tire smoke. Breathe this. I'm coming. Oh, okay. I'll keep an eye out for it. Dad is excited to get to get presents. Has a busy season at work. I need all the background. Yeah. Well, hopefully, busy season isn't too bad for you.
I know the feeling, trying to enjoy the sunshine. Snuggles would say hi, but he's hunting a fly. Aww. Yeah, Beef is, uh, is currently downstairs. He's, um... He's probably inspecting all of the groceries that Mom brought home, so... He's, uh... He's doing that, and then he and then he'll probably like sleep wherever mom sits down. He's such a sweet thing, though. Did you add something to shout out about beef. I've thought about it, but I, I can't really I can't really think of anything good. Like like I can't have a beef cam because uh, beef doesn't like hanging around here for streams because I I talk and. Uh, that wakes him up. But... But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you have ideas, let me know. Such sweet beef. He is very sweet. It's so cute. He cuddles with me at night. It's adorable, and I love him. I, I love him more than my video games. A picture. Oh, mm, interesting. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, or tell a beef story. Oh, possibly. Well, I can tell you one that happened recently. Um, <laughs> no, no point redemption necessary. Um, I was sitting down to watch Star Trek with my parents, and. Beef and I was in I was in the chair that Beef likes sleeping in, so um, he wanted to like nestle between my legs to sleep while we watched. And it was very cute, but then like he decided he wanted to like turn around and lay against me. But he put his paw on my on my uh, crotch, and, and like oh it hurt. <laughs> I, I love him, but like ow. <laughs> My, my dad called it nut check. Okay, bye, Will. Thanks for stopping by. Talk to you later. But yeah, Beef. Beef is a very silly cat. And I love him. <laughs> Why did it hurt? Dragon Ball will call it Cat Pat. <laughs> Why did it hurt? Um, I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> Why stepping on my crotch would be painful. <laughs> nope, 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 hide. Okay. Not as many green items this time around. I figured it out, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he was very sweet. Very sweet, but not always aware of what he's doing. He was also playing with my shoelaces yesterday. Like, I didn't even have my shoes on, they were off, just sitting by the floor, and he started playing with them. Hmm. Yeah, Shatter Spleen. He's built like a brick house. He is chonky, for sure. And he's, he's very vocal about the service here, that he's not getting fed 24-7. He 
Even though he became chonky while he was here. <laughs> I mean, he was already kind of a chonky cat, but yeah. <laughs> My dog does not bite at normal times, but he plays like it's super hyper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... I've heard that's pretty normal for, like, really hyper... I mean, not not hyper dogs, but, like, dogs when you excite them too much might start getting bitey. Oh, I was preparing to get yelled at by the vet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Beef's gonna have to go on a diet. Diet beef. Dang it. I knew there would be treasure over here. Beef pretty much only comes into my room when I'm streaming to meow at me about how he's hungry. Also, apparently the, the Lightyear movie is getting good reviews, which I'm happy about, but also it's, it's interesting to me. I don't know, it seems like the kind of movie that, I don't know, is just unnecessary. And it also, um, my dad pointed this out where he's like, well, that also means they might make a, uh, a Woody movie. And I guess since Lightyear's probably going to do pretty well, it's likely to happen. I still haven't even seen Toy Story 4. I mean, I've, I've seen three, but not four. Though I'm pretty sure I've talked about that before. Interested in Lightyear, but you feel Turning Red should have been in theaters instead. Yeah, Turning Red was alright. It was pretty good. I mean, like... How do I put this? In a way, it almost felt kind of formulaic. I don't know. It's, not, it's tough to describe for me, but it felt very Disney, you know? Which is not necessarily bad, it's just like... You know. It's just one of those... Things I noticed. You can skip four, it's shits on three in some ways. Well, honestly, I... I didn't like the ending to three, so... Maybe I would like four, then. I love turning red. Yeah, I mean, like, I didn't hate it or anything. I'm just, I don't know. After all the, after all the talk about it, I guess I was, I don't know. I was expecting something different, I guess. Which is not the movie's fault. It's just, you know, just how I experienced it. Toy Story 4 is a good movie. I heard a lot of people say it was good, but, you know. Someone's some, some redeem another hot take. I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm just saying. I didn't. 
I don't know, what do you expect? Come on, really? Wasted so much money on that. Because I mean, like, if you really want to get into it, we can talk about it, but I'm, I'm going to have an unpopular and negative opinion. Just not to say you you can't have the same opinion, I'm just saying. Also, I guess I should mention too, I'm two follows away from 500, which is crazy to me. So I do appreciate everyone who has followed or might follow or anything like that. TS4 is going on its own. The sequel to 3, it's pretty eh, the fact it exists. Let's see, this pretty thin ice. I mean, like. I feel like the Buzz Lightyear movie's unnecessary, so like... You know, the fact that 4 might not be necessary isn't exactly... a deterrent. I mean, it is a deterrent, but not in the same... strength, I guess. I don't know if I'm making sense, but... underestimate my willingness to sit here and grind for that money statue. The only time you're wasting is your own. Well, here's more of a spin-off than a sequel season. Yeah, but I mean, like, I, I don't recall a single person ever going, like, we need to know who Buzz Lightyear is and why there was a toy made after him. It's like, you know, it's just one of those things where it's like, I, I didn't need to know. It wasn't one of the burning questions I had about the franchise, you know? Are you serious? I know at least one person who did. Mr. Disney. Or, or perhaps more accurately, their bank account. <laughs> yeah, yep. Oh, also Neon White came out uh, yesterday, or the day before. Looks really good, I really want to get it. I need to see if they're making a physical version. I can't imagine they're not. God damn, I want too many things. <laughs> so you're talking about how I want Mario Strikers and Atelier and all this, and then it's like, oh, and also I want Neon White. And the TMNT game that came out, Shredder's Revenge. I saw someone post that it was 15 bucks on sale at GameStop for some reason, but it might be an error. Or it might be faked. I don't know. Ha. I told you I'd get what I want. Yes, I will subject my audience to pure grinding.
can't help it. I love the feather. It's probably not a great item to get. But anything that gives me air mobility is appreciated. I also want, I mean, again, another thing I want, is I really want the, the DLC for this game. I played a little bit of it when I uh, had played with Marsh, and uh, it seemed really cool. Lots of cool new environments and things. New enemies. You're playing easy mode. I am playing easy mode. Hi, Star. Good to see you. I find the existence of Lightyear less than the existence of TS4. It's a better case for itself to exist. Being on, is it not a continuation? Oh, yeah. I, gu I guess I can see where you're coming from. But still. If it gives Pixar money to do more original projects. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know, I feel like that's kind of a, uh, uh, what's a, what's the term? Oxymoron? Not, not quite a, because, like, Lightyear technically isn't really original, because it's based off of Toy Story, so the idea that it's, you know, if it does well, then they can create more original stuff is interesting. But yeah, at, um, at your recommendation... You have 80 Lunar Coins. I do. Because I heard most Lunar stuff isn't worth it. How do you get that many? I, like... Like, I understand playing for a long time could get you a lot, but... Like, is there some way to farm them or something? I'm just good at the game? I guess so. I'm- I'm not. I only just beat this game for the first time last time I streamed this. Or at least first time on PC. I did beat it one other time on Switch, but... Progress does not transfer over. Yeah, it doesn't show too much traffic anymore. Instead, it's just taking a million years. Oh, yeah, it does take a little while to generate. Dang it. Only get gestures? I'm, I'm not sure I follow. Unfortunately, most businesses are in the business of making money, so if they spend it on original projects, it's a chance to lose. So not really... Yeah, no, no, I, I mean, it's not that I don't understand why companies make projects like this, but it is a funny thought. Because technically they're making... They're making unoriginal stuff, you know for the goal of making original stuff. I don't, I, I don't know if I'm being clear about this, but... Oh, hell yes! Oh, what do I want? That would be helpful. Taking the cats and it's taking that long. Well, yeah, it, it takes long for any prompt. Gestures is a lunar item, but your equipment is... But it automatically activates by itself. Interesting. I, I've... I'll be honest, I've never really experimented with the lunar items. When I was first introduced to this game, 
the the person who introduced me was like lunar items are risky and most of them aren't worth it so I just never really looked into it if you have five plus you win the game well just stacking them do oh god oh god you <laughs> good at the game okay I guess not But I'm not good at the game either, so... I think gestures makes your equipment faster. Oh, okay. Interesting. every half second. That is pretty awesome. I'll, I'll be honest. I do want that. But what item do you pair it with? Like, what's the... Do you do rockets? Or, um... Oh, hell yes. Okay, what's, uh, what's most helpful in this situation? equipment but yeah yeah I I really don't know a whole lot about this game I've spent what is it 300 something hours in this game across both versions know very little about it <laughs> that is my one beef with uh, with most roguelikes is that they don't explain themselves that well you have to, like, look it up on Wikipedia. Missiles. That does sound really fun, to be honest with you. I'll see if I can find a lunar pod somewhere. <laughs> I see Pia. I, I don't have that unlocked, sadly. I got to experience it when I played with my friend, but I I don't have it. Yes, yeah. I just don't have it yet. I don't know how to unlock it either. It's a DLC item? Oh. Well, I don't have the DLC, sadly. Oh, I already... Nah. The thing about roguelikes is not good. The thing about roguelikes it's not explaining themselves is part of what makes it... It's part of the fun. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I feel like the fun is... is discovering. But, like, once you discover, you should be able to kind of understand. I don't know. I don't know how to explain my feelings very well on it, but... Like, starting pretty much any roguelike makes me a little anxious, because it's like... I'm gonna have to relearn so many instincts and so many things, because each each roguelike has its own 
style. And it's not going to tell you what that style is. Is the game harder? Hard... Harder the more fun? Yeah. Harder the funner. See, for me, I already find this hard, so I don't know if I'd want the difficulty higher. I still haven't even beaten the game on Monsoon yet, and I'm not playing Monsoon now. Anyway, um, yeah, my whole thing about, like, okay, The Binding of Isaac is a really, really, uh, like, good example of this, where it's like, you can have, you can encounter every item in the game, but there are still times where, like, you go through and you find an item and it's like, oh, what does that do? I don't remember, how will that interact with this? And it really makes me wish there was just some, some guide. I know Enter the Gungeon has the, the Ammonomicon. But, but even then, sometimes it's it's tough to remember what all the things do. You have to basically learn a language. Like, I love The Binding of Isaac, to be clear, but I wish it would explain its items better. Because there are, are items that will screw you over if you get them. And I don't want to be in the dark about that. <laughs> Huge fan of the Binding of Isaac. I used to play a lot. I get the frustrations. Yeah, like, like you know, I I understand that it's trying to have a sense of humor, but like sometimes when you pick up an item and the and then it says like fishy, and it's like, what does that mean? <laughs> what do you, tr what, how is that helpful? You know. Never beat the Binding of Isaac. I've beaten it many times, actually, but it's it's one of those games where I feel like I need a second monitor with like the wiki open, and I feel like that's I don't know. This is a personal thing of mine, but I feel like that's not great design if you have to require someone to go out and figure it out elsewhere. You know, games as a medium in general can train you. <laughs> so, so like, making someone go, like, I don't know what this does, I need to go Google it. I feel like that's bad design. Yeah, having the wiki open. It ruins- it's not even just about the immersion, it's more like the convenience of it. Because if you- even if you, like, don't care about having the wiki open, it's like, why make someone go to that trouble when you could just include the wiki in your game, like, if you could think of no other solution, you know? Because, like, if someone's going to be doing that anyway, then, you know, might as well make them not go through the trouble of Googling it on their own. It 
it's kind of the same way I view Steam. I remember there was there was a time when people were upset because Steam refused to curate itself, and then Steam went, okay, well, we're gonna have the, the curator system where, like, people will recommend games, and then, you know, and that'll be how you discover games. And I thought, like, why, why are you making people do that? Like, why is that... <laughs> why is it now our problem to curate your store? Like, I don't know. It's weird. Some mods that'll label items, but it's not 100% accurate. Yeah. And also there are, like, hidden stats that it doesn't really well explain. Oh, sh I wanted to click. Oh, well. Let's click that. Yeah, anyway, sorry. Sorry to go on kind of a boomer rant, but just it, sometimes it just frustrates me where it's like, you know, they, uh, uh, one of my favorite reviewers was talking about how Dark Souls kind of relies on shared knowledge and how he was talking about, like, you know, one of the failings of Dark Souls is that you need, like, a guide and stuff to, to get into it. And, uh, I, I'd agree. I mean, granted, I haven't played Dark Souls. I can't say I know, but... That's similar to how I feel about a lot of other games. It's like, games are unique enough that you can teach the player while playing. Like, you don't have to make them study up. beat the first boss in Dark Souls 3. Yahtzee's right about Dark Souls and, and uh, that's part why I don't care for it. I, um... That and the difficulty. I like Bloodborne, but it had the same problem with needing a guide. Yeah, I mean... I need to play Elden Ring, because I heard it was good. I mean, honestly, I need to play all the Souls-like games. But I, uh... I don't know. I'm not big on games where it's like... Okay, you need to know this before you go in, and the game's not going to warn you about it, uh, but but you need to know that, like, this doesn't work this way, and you need to do this. Follow the video walkthrough? Yeah, that makes sense. I, uh... I, I played the, the first boss of Blood... Uh, sorry, of Bloodborne, of Dark Souls... And, uh, I got through it okay enough. But, uh... I don't know. My, my style of game is not the one where it's... You know... Difficulty just for the sake of difficulty. I don't know. Like, you can have difficult games and not feel like you're cheating the player. And again, I, I haven't played Dark Souls, so maybe I'm wrong about this, but like, you know. At least that's what it seems from the outside. I admit, I'm, I guess I'm kind of a hypocrite in that sense. Because part of the reason I love the original Sonic games is because they're they're difficult and like the whole point is you want to to learn the map layouts and stuff so you can get better and faster. But in in essence, it's still kind of the same thing where it's like it's hard. And you didn't need to make it so hard, but you did. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's just a matter of, like, what you respond to. You know, I responded to Sonic, but not necessarily to Dark Souls. 
Oh, whoops, I shouldn't have gotten that. Oh well. Oh, yes! Um, what do I want to get? It's a... Uh... Hmm. So yeah, I just don't enjoy difficult games, doesn't matter if it's tough but fair. I play games that have fun, constantly dying. So, I, I don't know, I mean, for me, the, uh, there is such a thing as tough but fair, and I enjoy that from time to time. But, um, but yeah, for me, like, you know, there are lots of people who say that, like, Dark Souls shouldn't have an easy mode. And, I mean, I guess I can understand that not every game has to be for everyone. But, uh... I don't know. Sometimes it's like, yeah, I just want to have fun and play a game, not, you know, bash my head into a wall. And some people do, and that's that's okay, but, you know, it's not my style. I was watching the awkward dork play uh, Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy, and, like, I get that the whole point of it is that it's a rage game, but, like, I don't know. I just don't particularly find enjoyment in that. Or like Mario Kaizo stuff. Like, I, I appreciate that there are people who are interested and want to do that and all that, but it's not the kind of thing I'd be interested in because I don't feel like dying over and over and over again. Which game doesn't make sense to me for ages in motion. Yeah, well... I mean, it's a, it's a piece of software designed to frustrate people. Like, doesn't, you know. Some people value the sense of payoff they get from overcoming a challenge more than, you know, more than the enjoyment of playing whatever it is. Which isn't to say they're wrong, it's just not my my style. Okay, what else do I want? Um, get the clover. And truth be told, I do understand the feeling of, like, games have gotten really easy, so, like, something that's hard does change it up, but... I don't know. It's just not really something I actively seek out. Bit extreme difficulty modes for yeah. Well, yes, but I mean like, I mean even even difficulty modes aren't really exact either. There are some difficulties that are really just unbalanced, you know, like some hard because like a lot of developers hand difficulty as like oh crank enemy damage up and playing crank player damage down and call it a day, and that's, you know, I, I would consider that not, not good balancing. Yes, it makes it harder, but not, not in any other real sense, it just makes things kind of longer. Really want to have fun, hard for people that want to challenge, yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I, ultimately, I, you know, as long as you find a game that you enjoy, you, you know, 
you enjoy it. It's just, for me, there are some things I enjoy and some things I don't. Why did my audio cut out? Why did my audio cut out? Okay, that was really weird. <laughs> it's hard to balance, but that's just what you have to deal with. You want to start the game. If you choose not to acknowledge, it's fine. You just gotta acknowledge it. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, and I mean, it's it's like, um, what do you call it? It's like MMOs for me. I'm not a big MMO fan. I don't enjoy that style, but like, there are people who do. So it's like, if I were ever to review an MMO, I'd probably be like, hey, you know, it's got certain things, but it's just not my style. Like, and, you know, and that's fine. You know, not everything needs to be everyone's style. I really spent a lot more time just trying hard things as a kid. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the other thing, too. I think, for me at least, part of why Sonic works is because I didn't have many other games as a kid. So, like, I really wanted to get my enjoyment out of the game, so, you know, I tried the levels over and over. Even if I got frustrated, eventually it'd be like, well, you know, let's just try again, I guess. And that's not so much the case nowadays, because... I have more games, and also there are free-to-play games and, and, you know, cheap games and stuff. An issue with gaming review sites, sometimes there's no one around who likes the genre to review it from. FPS player play- yeah. Yeah. Two. But I played a lot of Sonic CD. Yeah, I never had a Sega CD or a PC that could play it, so I I just never... Honestly, I didn't even know it existed for a long time. My, my knowledge of the gaming sphere was quite limited when I was young. I basically knew whatever was in store at the time and uh, whatever my, my friend would, would say. He was more in tune with that stuff. I, that stuff, as if I'm not in tune with it now. No, I just mean, like... You know, back then, my friend was always the one to... Because he had PS2 and Xbox and, you know, uh, Nintendo. So, like... You know... Getting Sonic Origins so you can play it then? Yeah, I most certainly will get Sonic Origins when I'm not entirely sure, but... I will. See, cause like, 50 bucks is a lot for those games, and I already have them. You know, I'd like to, uh... I'd like to experience them, but... It's just a matter of money and interest lining up. Joshin! Hey, how's it going? How are you doing? I'm just having a chill time chatting about things and uh, playing Risk of Rain. Also, I'm really sad that Sega didn't make a physical version of Sonic Origins. I mean, maybe if it reviews well enough, they'll pull a Sonic Mania and then like print physical editions later. But still. They're charging too much for the full experience, yeah. And I mean, like, you can get Sonic, uh... The, the Sega Ages. Why are you guys jumping off the cliff? 
<laughs> like, you can get the, uh, the Sega Ages Sonic 1 and 2, which are fantastic ports. Um, you can get that for, like, five bucks each. So, you, you're essentially paying $40 for Sonic 3, and I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's not... It's not that it doesn't deserve it, but it's it's definitely one of those, like, it's been on sale so many times in the past, it's hard to kind of feel like it's it's another $40. Tired, but okay? Well, I'm, I'm glad you're okay. I understand being tired, though. I'm kind of tired, which is why I'm doing a more relaxed stream today. I wanted to have the lights off. I wanted to, uh... You know, just play something relaxing, because I've beaten both Dark Cloud and Sonic Unleashed back-to-back. -back. Potential of failure of Sonic's Frontiers. That is also possible. Though, granted, Sonic hasn't really been getting the budget he used to, so, like... It, I, I wonder how much uh, of a risk Frontiers really is. I'm playing Sonic Adventure Den because I found out there was a Dreamcast mod and I'm playing the weird. Oh yeah, no, there, I did know that there was a Dreamcast mod of Adventure 1, but sadly there's not one for Adventure 2. And that makes me really sad, because, you know, you know me, Adventure 2 is my favorite. <laughs> Don't tell the others, but you're my favorite. <laughs> um, a lot of people are mad about the pack and pre-order. Yeah, it should just be in the base game, I agree. Content says coming soon. Yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I'm not opposed to the idea of DLC if they're actually meaningfully adding content later. But this this feels like they definitely were like, okay, we need some DLC. What can we what can we rip out and sell separately? You know. And also, I am really sad that they don't have the original music for Sonic Three in certain points. Sonic 3's music was so good. It makes me sad. I mean, like I understand that you know it's not the whole of the game, but. I don't know. It's, it's important to me. And, like, I get that maybe the Michael Jackson estate didn't want to license out the songs or, like, they wanted too much or whatever. But I don't know, man. It's Sonic 3. <laughs> it's one of the most important games. for PC mods. Yeah. Oh, no doubt. The the modding community will mod it in within 24 hours. But The thing is, I would not get Sonic Origins on PC at least at the start cuz uh Sega and Denuvo have been very close lately and Denuvo is garbage. So So I I would want Sega to remove the Denuvo before buying. Like, it was a big criticism of Mania when it first released on PC, is that it had some really intrusive and bad Denuvo. Hey, one three. No, you are the precious one. I need to. I need to make art for you at some point. One three. It must. It must be done. But how are you doing? I hope you're having a good one. I 
I'm just having a relaxing time playing Risk of Rain. Roguelikes, despite all my issues that I stated earlier, um, really are kind of just like a comfort zone game for, or type game for me. It's hard to explain exactly why. Maybe it's because I played too much Toe Jam and Earl back in the day. Kelsey, it's good to see you too. Hello, hi. Again, I apologize for no face cam. I just, I, you know, it's just one of those days where it's like, I don't feel like putting on face cam. Goodness. Took a lot of tries. What up, Kelsey? Kelsey is also very precious. It's like because Robo likes are random enough, there's no point in worrying. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a a good point too. Like I basically know the rough idea of what I'm doing, so I can just kind of zone out and think about things. Don't don't start what again. Are you ending soon? I know you said it was going to be a short stream, but... Uh, yeah, I, I was probably thinking maybe around 3, 3.30ish. So, I mean, I'm not ending soon, but... It is going to be shorter than my last few streams. Just because I have... I have... I mean, not only am I a little bit exhausted, but, like, I have other stuff I want to do, so... Uh, okay. Ashy! I'm glad you're here! I didn't know you. You are both. I have decreed it. Just because I have to do something BFK. Oh yeah, no worries. I, I'm go go do your thing. Uh, uh, unsmiley. I'm sorry. I, my brain wanted to say comic, and I was like, no, I shouldn't say comic because I want to be true to everyone's username, if possible, if desired. I don't know. Fall asleep. Um, splash cold water on your face. Also, I don't know if this is just me, but also, like, drink cold water, too, because, like, whenever- I've noticed whenever my mouth is warm, I, I'm a little more tired. I don't know if that's- if there's any science behind that. Like, having a colder mouth makes me more awake. And energy drinks. Okay! Okay, Unsmiley! Have a good one! Already gonna shower. 
<laughs> okay, I, I... I was like, why are you saying shadow? But yeah, I don't know, just keep moving. You know, get the, get the, the heart pumping. I'm gonna shadow. Oh, why would you want a shadow? Why would, I mean, being, er, to shadow must mean to be not precious, so you should want to be pixel. <laughs> Swear to God, shadow! I would donate. No, no, because that that would prove that you're precious. So, so you won't do it, but you are. Explosion! Ear rage. I don't have any commands like that, Kelsey. These are these aren't happening. Quack. Precious. That that would be a command for you, Pixel, yes. Okay, thank you for lurking, Kelsey, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, okay, you know what? That makes more sense, Josh. to get. Groovy! Hi! I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you made it. I miss you on Fridays, Groovy. Why do Fridays suck without you? <laughs> Heck, no, don't don't feel bad, Groovy. I'm just I'm just teasing. Emotional damage. I'm not trying to emotionally damage Groovy. Groovy's a precious being who must be protected. A sound soundboard reference. Oh goodness. Oh, there are so many I could go with. Um. Uh, what's a good one? Um, <laughs> let me drive my van into you. <laughs> I 
And that's it, you get no context. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck context. I know. I've been tempted to remove the the explanation redemption because I really like the idea of it just being completely devoid of context. But everyone in my chat was like, "No, keep it." So, so I keep it. Still cuddle if you went to bed. I hope you're doing okay. Wait, to me or to... Wait, oh, okay. To Kelsey. I was thinking, like, what brought that on, Groovy? I should think about context. Is <laughs> this... What do you mean I wouldn't want that? I, I can't believe you'd say that, Groovy. I thought what we had was special. <laughs> David, I'm glad you're here. Oh, I'm sorry you're having a mad day, Groovy. Summer, yeah, summer is picking up for sure. But let me give you the uh, the California tip for for staying cool in hot weather. Um, complain, <laughs> and you will you will instantly find yourself less bothered less bothered by the cool. <laughs> it me, son. Hey, good to see you. Hi, hi! I know you wouldn't. Excuse me, Groovy. Can't believe. <laughs> yes, I'm loving the clips too. noticing. AC is working wonders. I'm doing great. I am so glad. AC is as as uh, as stated earlier God's gift to mankind. Move faster. It's 56 and raining. That sounds so nice. Sounds some of that here. BRB. Oh, okay, sure thing, Groovy. Yes, of course we we notice your efforts, Groovy. Don't don't think I haven't noticed all of your efforts always.
this area done. Excellent. Everything's going according to plan. <laughs> I like that there's quiet and there's delighted. Probe. See, when I start getting this fast, the the char the charge range feels really small. But I do love the little disciple because you could just sprint around and kill everything. Okay, this is this is a pretty good run. Witness me. Are you witnessing me? <laughs> So indecisive about items. Like, it really isn't that big a deal, <laughs> but I just can't decide. Maybe it's because I really don't know, like, what the best items are. So I have to, like, sit there and review all my options. You know, I saw a, uh, a doll E generation that was like Fisher Price guillotine, and that made me laugh really hard. Like some some people's prompts got executed really well, and other times 
it doesn't understand. I mean, I guess, you know, AI certainly isn't perfect, but... There are some times where I, I write something, and then it just basically ignore, and ignores it. And other times it's like, wow, that is scary accurate. Do you think we'll ever reach, in our lifetime, a point where AI can be mistaken for humans? Do you think we'll, we'll advance fast enough? If you had asked me not too long ago, I probably would have said no, but I'm starting to think maybe it's yes. It depends on if we can train an AI to build better AI. <laughs> Hi, Kelsey! How you doing? Welcome back to the land the land of the kind of living. <laughs> Just kind of chilling out living. The sun? Why? What did sun do to you? Sun? What did you do? <laughs> Kelsey, explain. Sun, not the person's sun that you did the star and star sun. I'm proud of you, son. Dad, are you space? Yes. Now we are a family again. <laughs> Are you space? Yes. Now we are a family again. I'll be honest, I still don't fully understand what context that comes up in. I know it's Portal, but like... When does that line of dialogue trigger? <laughs> that wouldn't hurt person, son. Good. If you did, there would be trouble. And make it double. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've lost my marbles. Can you help me find them? <laughs> Synthetic! I notice you. You have been noticed. I've lost my marbles. And they're all over the floor. As you can tell by my commentary. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm glad you're back, Will. Or er, synthetic, excuse me. I need to I need to try and stick to username. It's better that way. It has to be this way. Standing here, I realize you were just like me, trying to make history. Such a good soundtrack. Spending my points? What about it? Oh god. Oh jeez. Call me Will Super Show. I know, but I, I... I try and stick to usernames so that way my brain doesn't overload. Cause I don't want to call anyone else Will, if they're not Will. The phone's dead, Will! <laughs> the two of you are really If only Groovy was here. I want to make a reference. <laughs> or at least, it, I don't know how this got in my head, but it got in my head and I want to say it. But I can't. Because it's weird. Kelsey! Oh wait, uh, yes. <laughs> Give reference. Um, <laughs> do you do you remember the the time where it was like, I'd have sex with with woman god, dude. I'd have sex with dude god. I'd have sex with concept god. <laughs> the, oh really? Oh my god! What a coincidence. Thank you for coming back, and when the world needed him most, he returned. A hundred years have passed. My brother and I have found the new Groovy. <laughs> the new Groovy Ninji. An airbender named Aang. <laughs> oh, hell yes. I know, your timing is impeccable. I don't know why that reference popped into my head, but it did. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> Jesus. The hell is hitting so hard? Uh, 
Um, I don't know why, my, my head has just been popping up with random quotes and things. Like, uh, nobody's gonna get this reference, but it's like, There's too much butter on those trays. Okay? There's too much butter on those trays. No, 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 senor. Not on those trays. Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> so popular he skipped over chat and didn't read my French quote? Excuse me? Can't believe you'd all ride. Oh, you're- oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I- I- okay. I'm sorry for skipping over the quote. I- I'm a bad streamer, I know. Is this just me, or does the teleport go a lot farther? Maybe it's because I increased my speed, and the teleport's dependent on speed. Hey Shadow, I don't think you... <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't... Yeah, I, I have lost my marbles, I'm sorry. I don't think I've ever- what's your ammo piece or how did you, you discover it and join? Oh, you know? Yeah, nobody has really asked about that. Um, ironically, um, it kind of starts with Will. Um, because, uh, well, there were, there were two instances. Um, one was, uh, there was a guy in my art and animation class who was like, hey, have you seen, you know, MLP? And I thought he meant, like, the- I don't know. I thought he meant something else. And so I was like, no, why would I watch that? And he was like, oh no, you should watch it, it's pretty good. And, um, and I remember, like, seeing a, a like, a PMV on YouTube, and it was, like, a ship between Applejack and Rainbow Dash. And I remember thinking, like, that's how guys are represent- because I thought Rainbow Dash was a guy. So I was like, that's how guys are represented in this show? What the hell? And so, and so then, um, uh, Will showed me a, a YouTube poop about it, and, um, and I thought it was so funny, and some of the music was in it, and the music was really chopped up, so I was like, let me, you know, I want to hear this in its original form. And then I saw a bunch of people talking about it going, and I was like, wait, people like this unironically? Like, what? <laughs> it's just... And then I learned that, like, there's a whole group of people who like the show unironically, and then I looked it up on YouTube, and I found out that, like... You know, they uploaded the episodes, and, uh, so I watched them and liked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Groovy is funny. I thought Rainbow Dash was a guy. To be honest, I kind of get why. Yeah, and I mean, like... Understand that my, at the time, my, my knowledge of MLP was like, was like, two seconds of footage from one of the past generations, and that was pretty much it. So like, I had zero idea what any of it was about, and uh, yeah, and I ended up liking the music, and then I ended up seeing a lot of cool fan works, and then I just kind of was like, well, I guess I'm a fan now. And, uh, I joined when Season 2 had just started airing. Like, uh, I remember Episode 1 and 2, I think? Or t 1, 2, and 3 had been out, so... Had, like, ju been just uploaded, so... 
Yes, and we went to a convention at one point. That's true. Um, we went to the now stopped um, EQLA, which was really fascinating. Um, I actually went to EQLA a couple of times, uh, but yes, it was it was actually really nice to hear the the writers talk about the show, and uh, picked up some important you know writing skills from it. Uh, Brony Furry and checks out of season three. I'm sort of impressed with writing. I was yes, yeah. Well, for me also, uh, one of the initially very striking things about it for me was like, you know, I basically at the time had assumed every girl show was just slathered in pink, and like, you know, not that I hate pink as a color, but it's not really the kind of thing I want huge amounts of, you know. So, like, the fact that a lot of MLP was very, like, green and blue, you know, a lot of... It, it was just very appealing to look at, and and that makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm... I'm, I'm distracted. Um... Well, we'll say he's not... <laughs> that is... That is amazing. I love that. But yeah, honestly, like, yeah, the characters were all very appealing, and, uh, the music was good, and the colors were nice, and, and, and it was, the voice acting was good, and at the time, I, I liked the community around it. I still sort of do, but there are definitely a lot of, uh, things about it, so, you know, I, I kind of keep it at a distance. Hey, this is France. <laughs> yeah. It says expect me to go soon. That's fine. Honestly, I'm not planning on streaming for that much longer, so you're not gonna miss much. But I, I'm just glad you're here at all. I've missed you on Fridays, Groovy. So. Also, you know, another thing that kind of hooked me into the fandom, too, was, like, I really appreciated the idea of people going, like, you know, hey, who cares if it's, you know, if it's intended audiences and us, we like it, it's a good show, and that, that speaks more volumes than, uh, you know, than anything else. And also, just, like, the fact of, of, like, you know, just because, just because, uh, you know, people say you can't, that doesn't necessarily mean you can't, you know? I don't know, I just all... I just appreciated it. And at the time, I had met lots of nice people and cool artists and, and stuff, and yeah. He's got some cute emotes, yes. Definitely. Oh yeah, I think you'll be excited too. Hopefully. Otherwise I've wasted my my life. Nah, but you know what I mean. Hi Unsmiley, good to see you. And also, sorry I didn't say Sakura... Sorry, I'm... I... yeah, okay. I'm so sorry that I mixed you... Because Saku is short for Sakura, so, like, my brain just kind of... I'm sorry. You you do have adorable emotes, too, bootleg Sakura. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm a terrible streamer in person. Excited for next month? I am, too, but... I, and I've said this before on stream, but, like, one of the big pet peeves of mine is promising me something. Like, like I don't expect anyone to, to do anything for me for, like, my birthday. But if you tell me, like, hey, I'm going to buy you a birthday thing, and then you don't, that that's where it, like, starts to bother me. And not even really that much, but, like, you know, it's just one of those things. Yes, so many red items. Oh, I love it.
Hmm. Oh, is there? There's a beef! It's the beef! Hey, you, I love you. How are you doing, beefies? No, he flops. I love you. I love you, sweet. No kisses. Oh. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, certain you unironically like a girl show is kind of train. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember this conversation during Dark Cloud. Yes, yeah. I thought Saku was Sakura in short. Was I wrong? It is, but also Saku is what I call a friend of mine who did all my emotes and stuff. Um, I guess it's a good thing I'm getting you a gift. If someone hypes you up, then just doesn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. And I hate... I hate, like... I, I don't know. Part of... I hate even, like, saying that. Because I don't want it to seem like I'm that, like, harsh about it. It's just one of those things. I'm... I, I just, in general, don't appreciate when people say they'll do something and then don't. Oh, beef. Oh, are you sweet? Are you silly? Why you rub... Why you do this? What you smell? What you smell, the beef? Why are you gonna knock my switch over? Why are you being a silly? Why are you being a silly? What you smell? Beef, what are you doing? What are you doing, you silly? I know there's cables there, but those are not toys. Those are not toys, those are important. It's just a sweet kitten. Oh, you are sweet. I love you. Elevator butt? Do we got the elevator butt? No, we don't. Oh. Beefies, you are silly. Why do you do all this? Beefies, you silly. Why are you going... Uh, if my stream cuts out, no, it's because Beef is messing around near my computer. And he better not disconnect my internet. Are you being silly? Are you being a silly? I can explain how I think you feel better. Yeah, go for it then. I, You know, I'm not great with words. My mom in a sentence, yeah. Beef beefing up the gamer chat bad, yes. I'm gonna lurk now. Okay, I appreciate you coming by, Sakura. I'm sorry, I... I, uh... Did not call you by the correct name. I need to call her the gamer chat pad, because... Saying gamer chat pad... It is fun to say gamer chat pad. It's just a, just a beef. You are silly. You are a silly beef. Okay, well, he doesn't seem like he's going to disconnect anything, so... <laughs> oh, yep, there he goes. Bye, beef. So... Hey, you go. Um... I, I do like Zero Punctuation's uh, idea, where he's like, I'm going to make a, a video game-themed pickup bar and call it the D-pad. <laughs> That's genius. Oh, I appreciate you, Sans. So you're here, I'm just gonna lurk. Well, I just felt bad anyway. I always try and do right by people, you know? I never want to mess anything up, but I'm bad with names and faces and stuff, so I apologize. Sans, you, you are very, very much... Like the, the you're you're precious and and you are a Chad at the same time. I think it's more hold on. It is Sans. Welcome back, Groovy! I think it's more of that point. It's become a commitment. 
plan and then not doing it without any explanation feels dirty if it's if you couldn't do it why drag on and hype it and it feels like the person didn't care about what you're doing to it yeah you know that's that's a pretty good way of explaining it what makes someone a chad <laughs> helping me get video games no i'm just kidding no you're just a cool person and i really like talking to you and uh and i say so <laughs> Wait, do you know? I'm confused. But, you know, Josh, also to your point, I think it's also, like... It feels like you're trying to get brownie points without actually doing... I, I don't... You know, maybe this is just a, a bad thing in my head, but, like... Sometimes it feels like when people promise to get you something and then don't, it's like they expect... They expect to get all the credit for, for getting you something without actually getting you something. And that, that, that feels kind of cheap to me, too. Not, er, cheap isn't the word. It's, because it's not like... It, it's more, it feels slimy, I guess, you know? I don't know if I'm explaining myself well, but... That would be how I would describe it. Kelsey trying to get me angry, but we all know that Kelsey's cute, so there's nothing that can be changed. Playing good, I feel the same way about it. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I, I recognize that, you know, it's not all just that they're trying to, like, scam me or whatever. That's not what I'm trying to get across. It's more just, like, feels like if someone's gonna go, like, I'm gonna get you a present. Like, it feels like they're trying to be like, hey, you know, I'm gonna do something nice for you. And then, like, if they don't, then it feels like they were trying to get... Th even if, you know... Because, like, without an explanation, I have no reference point, you know? So it's like, I don't, you know, I don't know why they didn't, but they didn't, so, you know, I'm left to my own conclusion there. So I have the same feeling. Okay, well, I'm, I'm glad at least you guys are understanding what I'm trying to get across, because I feel like I don't explain myself well. <laughs> that actually kind of scared me for a second. Okay, I think one more run through and then we can try and escape. Cuddles and snuggles do sound great. Why is the going? Do you really? I mean, if you do, that, I mean, it's up to you, but I honestly never expected anyone to, uh, to reach that. <laughs> JK, I wish. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, I, you know, I must have severely underestimated how much you've watched. <laughs> I have 2%. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, 
By the way, Sans, I forgot to mention, and I don't know if, uh, if I'm misremembering or not, but I'm not actually a big fan of steak fries. I prefer just, like, less potato-y things. This is a heckin' delight, indeed. Comic is very, very precious. Do you want to eat? Hum, I'll um, take the hum, I'll take the pizza. <laughs> there is no peach ah. Pizza no. ah. <laughs> I'm going to do Concord Diner. <laughs> huh? Your omnipotence. Have pizza. You've served me. <laughs> Scene transition, I'll take a potato chip. There is no potato chip. chip. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, and also that was amazing. I know how long it takes. I can stream twice every day, oh my god. I don't- I- <laughs> I already struggle with the schedule I have. Too many people? What do you mean, Groovy? There is no potato chip. Thank you for that. <laughs> I'm clipping that, okay. <laughs> Let's get another bundle of fireworks. Many things. The correct screw the whole roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> well, still, that was amazing. Thank you. It's it's hilarious how close that he actually got to the the correct tones and pronunciations and things. Classic. For the ages. Random opinion on ShopRite? I've never heard of it. I, I've... Hmm... I got it, also I gotta go. Okay, no worries, Groovy. Again, I won't be stream- Honestly, probably whenever this run is over is when I'm ending stream, so... I- I'm sorry you couldn't stay for the whole of it, but I understand. Have a good one, Groovy. A comment or rating about something in-game. I- I am really happy with how this feels. I love games where you can just power yourself up to ridiculous degrees. Uh, 
Um, and also, what is what is Shoprite on Smiley? Because I I've never heard of it. Or maybe I have, and I just don't know. I'm sad she doesn't know how precious and cute. Uh, yeah, yeah, Kelsey is very precious and cute. Hope everyone has thank you, Sakura. Shadow stay precious. You are the precious one. You stay precious. I'll miss you too. But have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Oh, I need <laughs> I need a lot more money. You don't know what it is because you haven't been there in the last five seconds. I'm not sure I follow. Comic, comic is very cool. It's very true. Unsmiley. Very cool. Ooh, another red item. Hell yes. Goodbye. It's the saying you always say. Oh, okay, bye, Will, too. Again, thank you for coming by, and thank you for, for that, uh... Hilarious rendition of, of that scene and the bits and stuff. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. I'm just trying to think, is there any... <laughs> any item that I need more? Aside from, like... You know, keys. I love that feeling so much, of just like, my my jump height has increased so, so high that like, I go flying. See, that, that's why I like playing games on easy, and like, you know, in general, just kind of <laughs> having too much power. It's, it's fun to just like, s I don't know, to just obliterate things. to just stomp over something, you know? I don't know if I, that might that might make me sound psychotic. I'm not trying to <laughs> not trying to sound that way. I just like seeing my enemies driven before me. <laughs> Is that so wrong? After playing a troll game like Sonic Unleashed. That too, yeah. Oh, 
yes! Oh, give it all to me. I'm getting so many red items, I love it. Alright. I wouldn't call Sonic Unleashed a troll game, though. It's just a game that was more frustrating than I remember it being. And that's part of what led into my frustration, too. So I remember it being, you know, a lot smoother than it was. Because it really affects your mindset. That's why, like... That's why I try and avoid spoilers as much as possible. Because if you go into a game expecting it to be bad, and it is bad, then, like, it's not as bad as, it, you know, going in expecting it to be good, and then, you know, it being bad. You know, if you expect a game to be bad and it's good, it's all the more surprising than if you expected it to be good and it was, you know? And I, I you know, I played a different version than I was used to. And, uh, just all that. So, like, it all, it all came together in a, in a way that, <laughs> you know, isn't entirely representative of how I feel. We're playing a game I remember that was good, then you play it, why does it suck? Well, yeah, I mean, that's essentially what Unleashed was. You know, I remembered, like, oh yeah, I loved it as a kid, and, like, you know, it had some downsides, but, like, for the most part, I really liked it. And then, like, all the frustrations became that much more annoying because it was like, I don't remember this being this difficult, you know? Even though I'm sure if I watched myself play it at the time, I probably would have had roughly the same, you know, frustrations. God. Look, it's terrible. I'm almost done coding my clone of Space Invaders. Nice! Had the same experience. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, time has a way of softening a lot of things. And my memory of Unleashed apparently was one of them. Killing Frenzy. More complex than the other ones I've done? Yeah, Space Invaders... Sounds like it would be a lot more complex. Admittedly, I do want to learn how to... How to code games and stuff, but... I don't, you know... 
all in all in due time. There were a lot of people tweeting out about Sonic Adventure 3. Sorry, my brain went on a weird tangent, but there were a lot of uh, people talking about Sonic Adventure 3 because uh, what's uh, one of the guys at, S at Sonic Team, I believe, or maybe it was Sega, were like, yeah, I'd lo oh, I think it was Izuka himself who was like, yeah, I'd love to do an Adventure 3. And like, I don't know, that prospect kind of scares me, to be honest. I, don't, I just don't think they understand what made Adventure good. Yes, yeah, yeah. You know what say he's a meme at this point? Yeah, pretty much. He said they did, it was Sonic 06. It was not Sonic 06 Pixel. I... I don't... I don't... <laughs> I refuse to recognize that. Honestly, I I hesitate to call anything Adventure 3 because like I feel like they've always used that as a teaser for fans, you know? Because it's like, oh yeah, Sonic Heroes is Adventure 3, and then Heroes comes out and he gets a negative, and it's like, oh no, actually, uh, Shadow is more like Adventure 3, and it's like, oh, come on. Just, you know. Just stop. <laughs> It's the same format? I, I know, but it's not. <laughs> I will die on this hill. And, and Sonic Unleashed... It was like Adventure or something. Yeah, yeah, in Japan it's called like Sonic Adventure World. No Chow Garden, that too, you know? Frontiers is meant to be adventure. Yeah, I mean, they're kind of, I mean, they at least kind of were talking like that. Sega basically just uses it as, as like a, hey fans, we, you know, we remember a time when Sonic was, was confident in himself. And also, even f from some of the developers of 06 were like, we were pulling stuff from Adventure because we were in a time crunch and, you know, we, uh, you know, we had the resources there, but they very much didn't consider it to be Adventure 3 when developing it, so. I mean, it was going to be a different game altogether. Gonna be like a physics-based game, and like I think also it was partially a JRPG, and then like it 
early on got transitioned to being a Sonic game. I don't know. I, I forget the exact story now, but... Yeah. I Look, I, I would be very happy to be wrong about Frontiers, but I think Frontiers at best is going to be, like, okay. I, I don't... I just don't see how, like... A lot of the mechanics that they showed off, like, some of it looked good and some of it was like, oh no. And I feel like a lot of that's gonna get focused on. I mean, it's already happening. A lot of fans are... or er, fans and, you know, more casual, uh, observers kind of focusing on the flaws. I don't know. Again, it just... to me, it looks like they just put the boost formula into an open world and, like, restricted it a little bit. And I, I think that's such, such a wrong way to handle any... <laughs> any of the, the Sonic ideas. Normal run, I thought the boost looked very slow, but the combat looked good. Uh, I don't know, the combat looked weird to me. I, I would need to see it, like, for myself. It, it's tough to describe, but, uh, like, to me, combat has never been the strength of Sonic, you know? So, like, if they're gonna make a focus on combat, it looked, I don't know, it looked a little stiff. And, you know, maybe I'm a boomer, maybe I just don't understand, but, like, I don't know. Promson expired, but I can't use it yet? I mean, do you have Prime? <laughs> or, you know, Amazon Prime? Like, maybe they're just making you resub to it? Um, yes, and then, yes, okay. Oh my god! <laughs> I jumped way too high. <laughs> I'm older than you, Shadow, remember? How old are you? And also, I just meant in general. Sonic Frontier, will, will it get delayed? No. Sega has been very clear in saying that they won't delay it. Which is a very, very weird thing for them to come out and openly state. But they did. I love that you're not, that they've not seemed to learn that it might be a good idea. I know, really. I know, like, there were people pointing this out on Twitter, too, but they were like, what game company comes out to, to state that they're, you know, not going to listen to fans and delay a game? <laughs> like, it's a very weird marketing message, even if they end up being correct. Like, even if everything goes swimmingly. Like, what, what company would come out and be like, we are not delaying our game? Like... You're 94, I'm 92. Okay. Well, yeah, you're, you're not that... not that much older.
I'm I'm interested in Sonic Frontiers too. Don't don't get me wrong. I am most certainly going to buy it. But uh I just worry about how good it will be, you know. I feel like Sonic has always been at his worst when he's trying to chase other franchises. And like going, "Hey, The Legend of Zelda was a great game, so why not do that?" Like that that really sticks up a big red flag for me. And you know, it could be wrong. I'm just concerned. I'll get it too. Yeah, I mean, it's also a matter of when, because like, I didn't get Sonic Forces right away because I heard it was bad. And like, if Frontiers really does garner that kind of negative reception, maybe I'll wait on it a little. But it is my goal to own every Sonic game physically. So... I will get it at some point, it's just... It's just a matter of when. I am speed. I just love how quickly they die. <laughs> Did you play Forces? What did you think? I did play Forces, and I hated Forces. <laughs> Sans can tell you how much I hated Forces. <laughs> um, I will tell you, get it released and take the bullet. Thank you. See, the thing is, I probably would buy it on release if my income was steady, but it's really not. I, I make money so rarely that it's like, uh, you know, I can't just afford to spend, you know... 40, 50, 60 bucks at the drop of a hat, you know? And, like, there's so many games I'm interested in, I, you know... I have to specifically plan for a lot of things. And, uh, I don't know if, if I'm willing to, to bet that much on, on Frontiers. But yeah, f f Forces made me sad in many different ways because like it wasn't just the the avatar stuff being lame it it was like the levels were extremely short and fairly basic and uh the the plot was dumb and it kind of it had a certain look to it but it really didn't really didn't excite me in any way it just kind of looked grimy for no reason and uh and, like, usually Sonic games, whatever their quality, at least have a good soundtrack. But Forces really let me down. Because, like, a lot of its music was just a remix of Fist Bump. And, like, I like Fist Bump. It's actually a good song, but, like... It's the invincibility theme. It's the theme where you boost with your... with... with your avatar. Like, it's... they, they remix it into other level themes. I'm, I'm like, guys... <laughs> in a Sonic game, we're... Everything's supposed to be all, you know, new. <laughs> well, I got two, but I'm okay. I get paid monthly. Yeah. Yeah, see, my income's very unstable. It's, it's, you know, I, I do, you know, I do have certain things where it's like, okay, I know I'm gonna get money here, so, like, I'm gonna, you know, save it for this. But, like, for the most part, it's like, if something comes up, you know, I'm just... You know, I just have to hope that somehow some twist of fate will give me money. Edge Lord theme on YouTube. Oh, is that the the infinite theme? Because if that's the case, I have listened to it. Mm. 
Yeah, I've I've listened to it. It's um It's not my favorite, but you know. Used to show Shadow's theme from Sonic the Hedgehog. Or from Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. Yeah, um. I don't know, it just didn't do it for me, you know? Like, if you listen to uh, Shadow's theme from Adventure 2, that is a banger. You know? So, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Like, there are people who like forces, and I'm not gonna tell them they can't like forces. It's just, I'm not a fan of it. It did things I didn't like, and, uh, generally wouldn't have done myself. Yeah, I know what song you mean. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. I mean, most... Most music in Adventure 2 is pretty awesome, but, you know. my opinion, respectfully. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I mean. It's like, I'm not... One thing I always try and assure is, like, I, I'm not trying to crap all over people who don't like... or who like something or don't like something just because of my own opinion, you know? Like, I might not like something, but if you like something, you are more than entitled to like that thing. You can tell me 06 is the best game in the franchise. I would, you know, I would, uh, be quite shocked, but, you know, it's your opinion to have. You know, even though it's implicitly understood, I always try and remind people of that when, like, when I'm criticizing something. Because, like, if I say something sucks, I'm not the official, the official judge of everything in the universe. Like, of course it's my opinion, but, you know. There are times where it's, like, sometimes I feel like reviewers are trying to state their opinion as fact. And it's like, you really, really don't need to. It's money grabbing tactics, so it destroys the franchise of something I love. Yeah, I mean, I will certainly be upset about that too. But it's, I don't know, again, it's... I mean, to me, it's all video games, it's like... You know, I can be upset about certain things, but at the end of the day, you know, I don't... I'm not willing to, to die over them, you know? I 
I'm not I'm not gonna commit crimes because of them. Like there are people who got so mad about The Last of Us Part 2 that like they would they were life you know, sending life threatening messages and like that's not cool. I don't give a fuck how bad a game is. Just ignore it if you're really that upset. Like if you <laughs> don't take games that seriously. And this is some from someone who lives and breathes video games, like you know. Maybe all reviews should have a disclaimer saying as much as I get like we Yeah, I mean that is that is part of the thing is like you know, even if even if they put a disclaimer, it's not like it's not like you know, those types of people will pay attention, but still, I don't know. I don't destroy them, but I tell them why they shouldn't support it. Yeah, and like that's that's exactly my thing, is like you know, if I if I'm really that against a game, I you know, I'm not gonna go harass the developers. I'm not gonna go, you know, stalk someone on Twitter or whatever the fuck. Like I'm I'm literally just gonna go to other people and be like, hey, look, I don't like this game. These are the reasons I don't like this game. I don't think you should support it. And like, you know, I I might even be like, I I'd, I'd urge you not to, because I think it leads to, you know, bad things. And then it's up to them. If they want to, uh... I live and breathe video games. Yeah. Yeah, like... It's just video games. At the end of the day, it's a game. <laughs> like, you know... It makes me sad whenever people crap all over Sonic for no reason, but like... I'm not gonna go... I'm not gonna go harass someone over it. It's really not that important. <laughs> Say we're on the same page. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm glad for that. It really does make me wonder who those types are. Like, I mean, you know... Everyone kind of has an image in their head of what those types are, but I really would like to, like, actually track someone down and see what their... what their life was like to lead them to that point, you know? Not that I ever would, to be clear. I'm not... I'm not going to, but, like, I wish I had the omnipotence to, like, look into why this gets... this has gotten to be a problem. Like, what in someone's life makes them go, I care enough about video games that I'm willing to commit crimes for them? Like... <laughs> it's an interesting psychological experiment. <laughs> Cobra Commander from G.I. Joe. Alright, here's the final area. Destroy them all. It's more the an anonymity. There's no easy way to track down everyone that says those kinds of awful things. The pressing matters that they're attending. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, from a realistic standpoint, of course, it doesn't make sense to like. Oh, I just gotta follow. Heck, um, 
thank you to whoever followed. Give me a second. I, I have a weird setup, so I can't always look right away. Original account JPEG. <laughs> Hi, that is a very good username. I like it. Are you a big Risk of Rain fan, or did you just find me some other way? Also, you are my 499th follower, assuming... You know, assuming nobody else has unfollowed. So I appreciate it. Started playing, like, that game and it was on my very best run. Oh, I know that heart breaks so badly. Despite having put, like, 300 hours, it's like, what the fuck? What? 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 <laughs> Despite having put, like several hundred hours into this game. I've only ever beaten it twice. <laughs> it's not easy. Your chimera hurts. He really does. Um, but yes, Pixel, to your point, like, it's not the sort of thing where I'd say we should stop whatever we're doing and, and go to, you know, and go track these people down. It's not that. It's just, like, I really wish I knew what made them tick, you know? Like, what, what, what was the thing that led them to this point? What, you know, what chain led to that? I was using multi and ended up with a debuff stacking build. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I admit I'm still not really in tune with, like, proper builds or anything. I just know items I like and items I don't, you know? So it's not like I build myself to specifically debuff anyone or anything, it's just, you know? I usually go for, like, speed and, and you know, or speed of attack and, uh, and damage first, and then build off from there. Oh, I appreciate you too, Unsmiley. Thank you. So that kind of worked. Yeah. Well, I was a big fan of the first Risk of Rain. I really liked it. I beat it quite a few times. And, uh... And, like, this game just has felt so much harder that, like... I don't know. It's It's been harder for me to actually... Actually see a run through. But yeah, also, I finished the the two games, or two of the three games that I've been regularly streaming and didn't know what to do today, so I just figured, let's just boot up some Risk of Rain, because I'm kind of addicted right now. The multi doesn't seem like a very good character. Honestly, I had difficulty with him, but I mean... As far as I've seen from other people, he's, you know, there are things you can do to make him work. I just don't have the brain for it myself. Or the luck. Because sometimes it really does just feel like you're, you're just testing your luck. Couldn't catch a break. Oh, yeah. Chimera just kept using the machine gun. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah, I, uh, I really like the engineer because... I particularly like the engineer when you get the, um... Oh, gosh. I forget the name of it, but the... The thing where, uh, it gives you two extra shift power usages. Because, uh... Uh, because, like, then you can just keep setting down shields and keep, you know, just keep essentially being invincible. <laughs> Random opinion on food. Um... 
it's tough because there's a lot. Um, is there a particular type of food you had in mind? And also, hi, Slatsu. Good to see you. I guess if I had to just come up with an opinion, I would say, like... Hmm. I just realized Maltz... Is, uh, Maltese. Much better. Escape tool rather than move. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Boo Like Sakura, um, gosh, I guess if I had to just say something right off the bat, because it's been on my mind, is, like, I really like making food, I actually really enjoy it, but, um, sometimes it, it feels so complicated to make, ultimately, something that's gone so quickly, you know? Sometimes it's just frustrating, you put all this effort into a meal, and then it's, like, gone in, in 30 minutes. It's good 30 minutes, but... But still. You know what I mean? You spend so much time... Preparing it and doing all of the things. I wonder I had the... I had spawning into commencement. So this guy I have not had spawning into commencement. I have not had in a long time. I, um... You know, I admit I'm a pretty casual, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Observer, I guess, of, uh... Of Risk of Rain. Like, I'm not too deep into, like, all the specifics. What do you mean by commencement? I get what you mean. Yeah. Like, uh... I was... I just made, on Wednesday... I made a, a steak and chimichurri sauce recipe, and it was really good, but uh, it required you to, like, marinate the meat for a while, and then you gotta, like, cut it and, and, you know, broil it and do all this, and it's like, this is so much work for something that gets eaten up, you know? <laughs> it's understandable, but it's just funny. It's just funny to think about. Oh, the level- oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Coasters. Wait two hours to get a two minute. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's kind of kind of what it's like. Admittedly, I'm not a big fan of roller coasters because I have sensory issues and like roller coasters are very tough for me. But but like yeah, it's essentially that same principle of like I've put in all this effort, you know, spent all this time and mental energy, and I you know enjoy it for like a little bit and then it's done. Mare's meant to be a boss. Uh, yeah, I think. I mean, I think if you if you uh, you know, wait long enough, they'll spawn regardless. You know. I got unlucky and spawned a mi Yeah. Yeah, that, that does sound like unfortunate luck. My condolences. <gasps> oh my god. Thank goodness I had a Dio's best friend. Okay, now I think is the final phase. Good. Okay, we're good. What? Oh yeah, because I gotta go through a portal. That's right. This is happening. 
Yeah, Myth is is extremely strong. I remember my very first good run in this game. I I was like, oh yeah, I'm so ready for this boss. Like I'm kicking ass. He like one shotted me. <laughs> I was I was so stunned. Really. <laughs> Um, a random opinion on myself, um, I mean, I don't want to be negative, because I know Groovy doesn't like it when I'm negative, but, um, I guess I could say, I, I do at least think I'm good at, uh, like, reading people. Like, I, I feel like I, I can sense whether or not somebody's, you know, good pretty quickly. At least I'd like to think so, I mean, I've, I've you know, had some examples of not being good, so I, I don't know. A little mad I didn't get to see this. Yeah, I'm I'm so sorry for you. I know that pain. I, I wish it wasn't me that introduced you to the pain. <laughs> I hate to be the messenger. Ah, uh, sweet release. I would have said negative things about myself. Honestly, I was tempted to, but I'm trying to be good. Trying to be better. That's how I always think about myself. Oh. Well, for what it's worth, I don't think those about you. That's the- yes, this is the ending that unlocks the captain. I escaped the moon. So I was this close. Yeah, I know. Trust me, I I was very disheartened when I had my first attempt at him and he just one-shot me. Cause he also he one-shotted me in his third phase. Like I, I was kicking his butt, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is easy. And then uh <laughs> and then his third form just one-shot me and I'm what the fuck? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, Unsmiley. I appreciate you. Awesome. I didn't unlock anything. I was the most kid. No you. No you, Pixel. You and Unsmiley both know you. Yeah, let's just, uh... Yeah. I don't like it when it has the new logo. I wish I could just mark all. No speaking bad about yourself. I mean, I, I was tempted to. But anyway. That is gonna be the end of stream today. I, I had actually intended on making this stream much shorter. But, um... But yeah, then this run went on for a while. Um, but still, thank you all so much for stopping by, saying hi, uh, chatting, following, bits, subs, all that. I really appreciate it. Um, I try and stream every other day, so Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays at 1pm Pacific. Um, uh, I have a Discord, if anyone is interested, exclamation mark Discord, or there's a link in my about section. I'd love to have you there. It's also the best way to keep up with my streams and chat with me and other cool people. And, uh... We are going to raid someone, so I'll, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I have a few people I can raid. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's basically going to be it for today. Um, it's where the cool kids hang. Shadow, your pre- Oh, thank you, but no you. And I love you, too. I love all of you. Um... Go get one shot again. Yeah. Yeah, he's very, very strong. No you, Pixel. Uh, I think we're gonna go raid Dork. Uh, Dork just beat Bennett, Bennett Foddy, and it was a really fun stream, and I was bullying him. So I feel like it's, it's just right for me to raid. So, yeah. Bye, Josh. It was good to see you. Whenever, when we get into Dork's stream, type 
You can copy this, send send this whenever we get in there, okay? So take care, everyone. Stay safe. Have a good one. I'll talk to you later. And yeah, let's go raid Dork. Bye!